The Women's Empowerment Self-Defense Academy provides women and children with empowerment techniques to keep kids safe from all types of violence, abuse, and or harassment, while also living a happy and a productive life. And joining us now to tell us more about WESDA and their upcoming Sassy Girls Rock for Life event, we welcome now the president of WESDA, Stephanie Pryor, and the grandmaster of WESDA, Lindy, Linda Ramsey Ranson, and she's also a eighth degree black belt and founder and CEO. And of good to have you. Of women's empowerment. Yes, yes. good to have you. Yeah, thank you, you for do not me. look like the eighth degree black belt, but I'm not trying to find out. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? It's going well. It's going well. <laughs> good. Yes. When we talk about women's empowerment, obviously, uh, empowering young people is a passion of you guys, and, and your organizations got established in 1981. Mm -hmm. But give us a little bit more about it. Well, uh, actually, we're anti violence, non uh, comprehensive. Uh, multicultural organization, non-for-profit. Mm -hmm. um, we started in 1981, but we realized that uh, in 2009 that we needed to reach a wider community. So we became non-for-profit in 2009 to reach out to a wider community. Um, but at the same time, we focused on four major components, empowerment, education, empowerment, prevention, personal safety and awareness, self-defense, um, to really make a, that would come, cover all of the bases that would empower girls and women. Mm -hmm. And with that, we focus on domestic violence, intimate partner violence, rape, sexual assault, human trafficking. and human trafficking, mm -hmm. and any other violent crimes that are committed. We realize that, um, the statistics are constantly going up. But if we don't educate our young girls, then it becomes a revolving door that never goes down. So we realized that we needed to take out the time to focus on our teen girls mm -hmm. and educate them and empower them. So give us a little bit of how, when do you guys meet and, and, and what takes place when you guys gather? Well, in reality, uh, our program's been in existence, the Sassy Girls Rock for Life program, for two years now. And we haven't developed our own girls because we've been contracted out. We go from school to school all over the Bronx. Mm -hmm. And we do workshops with different young ladies in different places about our Sassy Girls Rock program. And basically, we're teaching them about healthy versus unhealthy relationships, how to recognize the signs how to avoid being involved in it or just uh, how to get out of it if it's a little bit too late. Mm -hmm. So this year we decided we're going to have an awards dinner and through an application process where the young ladies filled out essays and sent them in, we selected 15 young ladies that are going to represent our organization. And so they will be the ambassadors of our program. And that is happening on May the 21st. And what happens when we get together, mm -hmm. um, like we do with the other young ladies, is we talk about healthy versus unhealthy relationships. We empower them with knowledge. We talk about how these things can change. And we get them involved. It's an interactive kind of thing. They, they do debates, you know, give them a scenario. How, you know, how, what do you think about this? Is this person right? Is this person wrong? Convince these people why this is right. Convince them why it's wrong. And, right. and it's back and forth so that they're learning through role play that, oh, so when I apply this to my life, oh yeah, no, that's not correct. I'm not doing that. You know, right. it, it's, it's an ongoing kind of process. And, uh -huh. and part of that is that we focus on what we call keeping your crew tight. Mm -hmm. And that's all about self-awareness. Keeping your crew tight is an acronym with, for crew, which is self-confidence, self-respect, self-esteem, and self-worth. That is the brunt of understanding that they're somebody. They're not just anybody to be used or abused. And with that, they know that if someone touches them, it is not acceptable. If somebody does something inappropriately, they know that this is not the right thing to do. They know that they are in an unhealthy relationship. And that's what really SASI, the acronym, is for. Mm -hmm. SASI is actually the acronym, mm -hmm. which stands for the, the S. It stands for savvy and smart. Mm -hmm. She keeps her wits about her. The A means assess, avoid, achieve. So you assess a situation so you can avoid potential danger and achieve your life goals. The second S is for self-awareness, self which is part of crew, keeping right. your crew tight. 
The third S is strong and sensible, street smart and safe. And we do a lot of street smart safety tips, be aware of your surroundings, things of that nature. And the why is yes I am, yes I can. Why me or why not me? Mm -hmm. So that's, that's the acronym for the program. And again, we follow those four components within that. The empowerment through education, prevention, personal safety and awareness, and when all your options and choices have been exhausted and you're confronted with a physical uh, altercation, you're able to physically defend yourself. Mm -hmm. right. And coming up around the corner, you have a very special event. So uh, talk to us about it. I know you want some public participation there. Uh, when's that going to take place and let the people know? Well, uh, our wonderful Sassy Girls Red Carpet Award is May 21st from, four three, to, three, from 3 to 8. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be held at Maestro. And we went out and did something extraordinarily uh, for these young ladies. We managed to, we'll be dressing them through J.C. Penney's. We'll be giving them their whole complete wardrobe. Awesome. They've got shoes. They got makeup. They got hair. They got bags. They have everything that they need to, so that we can let them know that with all the peer pressure, all the problems that they're going through school, they all are managing to do well in school. And this gives them an opportunity that we thank you. We look for you to be our leader. Mm -hmm. And we recognize that it's hard out there. And we're saying, we're going to do something for you. Mm -hmm. So if people want more information, what do they do? They can give us a call direct at uh, 347 Eight one zero seven three three zero, or they can go online, www.wesdaonline.org, mm -hmm. W-E-S-D-A-O-N-L-I-N-E.org. I hear, in, and I, I know by working with young people all the time, that one of the biggest challenges is really getting them to open up and talk about stuff. How hard of a challenge is it for you when you have these young ladies and you're really trying to get them uh, to open up and really make them aware of what's going on around them? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, actually, we do have a problem in the beginning. Mm -hmm. But by the time we get into the middle session, we have a way to make them competitive in opening up. We will give them set a scenario. And then the scenario will be set. Somebody's going to agree and somebody's not going to disagree. The scenario may be you're walking down the street, man comes up and put a gun to your back, and he tells you, I want you to get in that car, three cars up. So here's the scenario. Do you get in the car or you don't get in the car? And here's where they all open up. Because somebody's going to say no, uh, and somebody's going to say yes. And here's where, and that starts that's the, the whole. Debate. That's the debate. That's, that's the debate. The debate. That's right. the debate. Well, that's good. I, well, I want to thank you guys for coming and sharing with us. Best wishes on your event on the 21st. Thank you. And Thank definitely you so much. continue to do what you're doing for our, our young ladies in our community. Thanks much. Thank you. Thank Very you. Much. All righty. Listen, want to let you know we've come to the end of our show today. want to thank all of our guests for joining us. But most of all, I want to thank you, the viewer, for tuning in. Now, if you missed any part of today's show, catch Recablecast at 5 and 10 on Optimal Channel 67, Verizon Files Channel 33, or anytime on the web at bronxted.org. Darren Hyman saying take care and God bless.